Hey there, and welcome to a new segment to my channel, where every Wednesday I'll be doing a Wild Eye releasing movie review, and I'll be calling it Wild Eye Wednesday. And staying in the spirit of Shark Week, I chose the Wild Eye releasing film, Raiders of the Lost Shark. Came out in 2015, and... The budget for this film is $350,000. That's not too shabby, guys. Um, the directors is Brett Kelly and Scott Patrick. Uh, Brett Kelly's worked on such films as A Regis Shark in 2020. Uh, Hobbs Horror just did a movie review. Go check him out. Uh, he does awesome movie reviews. Um, My Fair Zombie from 2013. And Gasly's from 2016. And um, the producer and screenplay is also Brett Kelly, but others have worked on the screenplay as well. Um, the actors in this film is Jessica Huther, she plays May. Candace Lidstone, she plays Professor Carly Reynolds. Catherine Mary Clark plays Janet. Dan Desmanis plays Gary, and I do apologize if I butcher in some of these names. You know me in names, I'm no good with them. Uh, Faith Rea, she plays Femme. Kitty Kamenecki, she plays Tracy. Pavel Lubansky plays Stephen. Kendra Summerfield plays Kimberly. Richard Groin plays Dr. Brad Howell. Um, Anik Rompri plays a student. John McGlory plays a deputy. And Kim Valentine plays Rita. Now, the deputy is kind of funny because... They're in Canada, and there's no deputies in Canada, but the guy in charge wants to be known as a sheriff and is making his uh, underling a deputy, which I thought was hilarious. Um, the music score in this film, guys, uh, needs to be louder. Um, it was a good music score. It just it needed to be louder. That was That was about it. I thought it was very low. Either way, uh, the overview for this film, guys, is four friends on a boat headed to a private island have no idea that a weaponized shark has escaped a military facility. They are forced to work together and battle an ultimate predator who will stop at nothing to track them all down. And, you know, eat them. So... Um, the shark doesn't only go after those kids, um, he also goes after everybody else around the island, and it's pretty cool. Um, at the very beginning of this film, though, there is some writing stating that it is based on true events, and they cannot state the, the real names of people in this film because they don't want to get sued type thing, and right at the end of the writing, it says, just kidding, and I thought that was pretty funny. Um, that was pretty good. Good job, guys. Uh, what I liked about this uh, film, there was a couple of scenes I really liked. Um, there was one with a Quebec couple where the guy's girlfriend just kept nagging him all the time because he could not, uh, she could not get to a beach. She wanted to be at a beach. He brought her to a lake. And um, what happened was she was nagging him for that. And he brought along a camera. So she went into the water and she was starting to do poses and stuff. And uh, he was very grumpy looking, taking pictures. And until she took the top of her bikini off, exposing her breasts, and a big smile came upon his face, and he was just taking pictures like a madman. And, <laughs> and uh, until the shark came and ate her. Then he looked up at this guy and was like, thank God. And it was, I thought that part was really funny. I kind of bursted out laughing there. And um, another thing I liked about this film is that they had a... Uh, Brad and a Janet, two different characters. You find out that they're married. And if you are a fan of um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show like I am, you know there's a Brad and Janet in that film. Now, the Brad and Janet in this film kind of resemble an older looking version of the Brad and Janet from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, to me anyways. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, also in this film, there is... The shark ends up flying, I thought was pretty funny. Um, they used some practical effects for the flying shark. Uh, it was just like um, 
a model of a shark or whatever and you just saw I guess it was on a string or whatnot but you didn't get to see too much of the top of the shark but it was just going along the top of the screen type thing and I thought that was pretty funny too um, flying shark imagine flying sharks guys that, that would be insane nowhere to hide um, either way um, the title is a little deceiving as well to me like I said um, there's no rating in this film. There's no like Raiders of the Lost Ark type deal. It's all just about uh, a shark that's been um, scientifically um, combined with other stuff by a mad scientist type thing and basically going around this island killing off people. So to me, there's really no rating. Nobody goes there to, to go and say, hey, let's go see if there's a shark there type deal. But... Um, other than that, guys, uh, I found the actors could have put a little bit more of an effort into their acting. Um, it was like they didn't care. If they would have just cared just a little bit, I think the acting would have been better, which would have made the film just a bit more better. But that was about it that I didn't care for. Um, all in all, I thought it was a fun watch, and I really did enjoy it. I found myself enjoying this film, and um, I could easily watch it again. You know, uh, that's how good it was to me. Uh, unexpectedly good, actually. Like, um, you can see that they tried. They put their heart into the idea of this film. But the actors that they got, uh, some of them were really bad. Some of them were okay. But some of them were really, really bad. And um, I don't want to name off names for actors because all of them try their best, I'm guessing, to do this. So I don't want to, like, bash anybody for trying their best but uh, if they could just put a little bit more effort I think would be pretty cool now would I recommend this indeed I do guys let's try to spread the word and help out an um, independent film company that is trying their best to make movies that we would all like to watch and uh, I think so far they're doing a fantastic job uh, I'm really enjoying the films that uh, I've been watching from them and uh, quite a bit of them are on 2B TV, guys, including this one. So, if you don't have the film, or you don't know where to go get one, or in your areas they don't uh, sell Wild Eye releasing films, uh, go to 2B TV and check this one out. Uh, they have quite a bit of others. And um, that's going to be it for this review, guys. Uh, there will be a trailer at the end of this video. I thank you all for your time. Thank you all for watching. Y'all take care. Ciao. These sharks aren't like normal sharks. These sharks are filled with hate.